Okay, our reality of roles. Where do you go here with this troubled acronym? Genesis 1-1 and John 1-1. In the beginning, God created. We have creator God. Okay, in the beginning, God created the heavens, the earth, and you know as you go through, he created all of us and all of what we see, have, know. Well, if he's the creator, he's the controller. Anything that you and I have comes as a gift of his creation and at best with the responsibility to be stewards that are in line with his will and his way and that a true biblical God-loving steward will be worshipful in the way that we walk with what he gives us. John 1, 1 tells us that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. This is where we see Christ as creator Christ. So when we talk about creator God, it's not some higher power. It's not some ambiguous, it's Jesus the Christ. The crucified Christ is also the creator Christ. So when we hear God in his word and when we look to Christ, know this, that all authority has been given to him. That's the reality. Now our role in that reality is we're the creatures. We're the creatures. And the bottom line is we end up in one of two camps. We are creatures that are defiant or we are creatures that are delivered. The question comes down to whether or not by his miraculous grace we have been captured and if we have, then we will live delivered and as delivered disciples, we will be the stewards that say, this is not my home. These are not my things. I've simply been placed here as a bridge, as a conduit for Christ that through what he has graced me with, I will in turn be his hands and his feet. Now the other side of that is to reject this, and that is to be defiant. The role of a creature is to either be delivered or defiant. And here's the tricky part. We get so good at being religiously defiant. I'll do just enough so that everybody else thinks I'm delivered. But down deep inside, my, my dad used to tell me when I was growing up, he said, Jeff, you were really, really, really good. Really good. He said, I would be correcting you and uh, I'd have people around and they would all look to me and they would say, boy, your son, he's so well behaved. Boy, did you see that? He said, but I know you so well. He said, they all thought you were being good, but I know that you were basically flipping me off inside. He said, you were being so disrespectful and so defiant inside and you got so good, nobody else knew it. And you know what I said to my dad? I said, dad, you're right. I'm sorry. And part of me is so thankful that you knew me so well that you could see what was hidden by others. Friends, I want you to know that God knows and loves you better than my dad or anybody in the world could possibly know you. He created you. And if the world is applauding you on the outside, but on the inside you're defiant, know this, there'll be a day of reckoning that will come. And with his reckoning comes his wrath. It's a loving warning that he gives us. 